Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel, my dreamers. I am your host, Anna. How are you guys doing? If I found, if I sound a little funny, <laughs> now I'm already talking all weird, as I am still a little bit under the weather. My nose is stuffy and so is my head. Okay. I did throw on some makeup, honey, to see if I could make myself feel a little better, put some little jewelry on, you know, just try to make it a little special here. So I hope that you appreciate that. Okay. Because I think I would have scared you if I didn't put this makeup on. Now, I did find some more Bed Bath & Beyond items. I was really excited to see them. So let's go ahead and get into it. Everything I'm sharing is $1.25 each. And you see all that? Those are the Hand of Friendship um, entries that I just shared. And I have a whole nother box over here, right over there, <laughs> that I need to record. So be on the lookout as I trickle in all this mail that's come in in entries, all right? Um, let's get into the Bed Bath & Beyond items. Uh, these are organizational type, okay? And this one has this little look to it. It has the rubberized, um, well, is it like a rubber? No, it's not rubber. It's like a plastic, but it's part of the simple essential line um, drawer organizer, non-skid. Okay, so it's a non-skid um, liner, keeps items in place. Perfect for organizing in the kitchen, office, and more. And they have that available right now. And as you can tell right there, it says bed, bed, bath, and beyond. So that was one of their items. And it does have the little feet here on the bottom. So it won't shift around too much if you put it in a drawer or on a shelf or something like that. So I thought that that was a good find. So I did pick one up because I am, I'm going to be organizing my whole space here. About two new shelves. And I want to change the look in here in my craft room. Things going to be changing up, honey. Now, the next thing I did get was, again, another Bed, Bath & Beyond item. As you can tell right there, Bed, Bath & Beyond. And this one, it has a little feet here, but they're like plastic. They're not like the other one. But this is a Simply Essential um three drawer organizer set which is nice you got three individual pieces there that you can mess around with to try to organize your space and the things that you need um it's always nice when you can find things and you can go through your drawers and get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that you just end up throwing up throwing up i know you don't throw up in your drawers okay <laughs> i know you don't throw up in your drawers i know that you don't throw <laughs> in your drawers. I'm not going to redo this. I can't. I just, I don't have it in me. I don't have that kind of energy today. <laughs> so there we go. All right. That also is available. These would be great for um, gifts as well. You know, and I feel like my hair is really fluffy. I just, yeah, see, I put some spray in it, but it didn't have any oil. So it's still fluffy. I only have this much spray left in it and it's a mermaid spray it's called mermaid spray that i had gotten from tj maxx i think was it tj maxx or marshall's i think it was marshall's and it smells so good and um it's like i only have this much left in this like a glass bottle and i'm so upset because i didn't know i was gonna like it so much and of course i'm not gonna be able to find it again you know i'm just i know i'm not i'm not okay so here's the next one so I got two of this one. And again, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it has the little feet. Okay. And another larger style organizer. Okay. By Simply Essentials. So you could use it like this or you could use it like this depending upon, you know, what you trying to, what you trying to do, girl. What you trying to do. Exactly. So it depends on what you're trying to do. But um, this one, I broke it already. That Oh, it, that did not come broken. I did this. I did this. And I was a little mad at myself when I did it, but it's okay. It, it happened here in the house. It, it did. Um, but it didn't come like that. <laughs> I didn't break this one, though. So there you go. Okay, so I got two of these. So I can use them on my shelves and here on my desk. When I'm doing projects and what have you, trying to organize myself and the items that I'm working with so they don't go rolling away. Yes, honey. Organizational. Then, um, let's do foodie items really quick. So 
it's not that many. I did leave my, um, I had a can of uh, Bruce's sweet potato, sweet yams in a can downstairs. It didn't make it up. I did buy some sweet yams. And then I did get another box of the Disney limited edition Mickey Mouse Clubhouse uh, confetti cake cereal. My kids like this. And I was like, okay, a dollar twenty-five. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Target last night. Um, because I haven't I haven't been leaving the house. <laughs> Yes, I haven't been feeling well. So I ordered a whole bunch of stuff when that comes in. So I got like foodie items that are all based around like fall, like pumpkin spice and everything nice. So make sure you subscribe and come back for that because I got a whole bunch of really cool foodie finds. They're all pumpkin spice based. But this one's a good one. My kids liked it. Kid approved. And this is a one pound. So one pound for $1.25 if you're on a budget. I hope you find these and you get as many as you think that your family may need. I know my store was fully stocked. I mean, fully stocked. And then I did get um, a box of moon pies for my kiddos because they've been good babies. A couple of them are under the weather. So I'm going to get them some moon pies. And for my preps, with everything that's going on and, you know, this uncertainty and uncertain days ahead and just, you know, things that could happen. You know, I, I did buy some more plastic utensils, you know, so I could put towards my preps if there's ever a time that we lose electricity, ability to get water for a day or two. You know, we can't wash things. Um, this is a great go-to as well as paper plates and things like that. Um, now I just need to get some bowls, some disposable bowls and things along that line towards my preps. Mm -hmm. Then um, I did get a box of tissue because, girl, we going through these boxes like no one's business. Yes, we are. So another box of tissue, 175 count. This one is really good. It is Greenbrier brand. That's Dollar Tree, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree brand Dollar Tree. Then um, let's talk about these really cute mugs, okay? Fell in love. I mean, I fell in love with these mugs because look, they have. Uh-huh. That's right. They have the sweater design. They have this. They got the sweater design. Mm -hmm. Sweater design. Look at it. It's beautiful. You know how much they ask for these sweater design mugs in the other stores? They ask, I know I'm looking at it as I'm turning it. Um, now I'm looking at you. Now I'm looking at the mug. Now I'm looking at you. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So they have it in two colors and it is red all the way through as a nice a size. Well, not as big as the other ones, but it's still very comfortable beautiful mug and if you want to make yourself a little cozy for it if you know how to you know make the little cozies out of or if you have like an old sweater or something you can make your own little cozy for this yes you can just get creative honey yes you can now they have it in white as well look at that i'll put the red down dollar 25 it looks like a sweater can you see it good? I'm trying to make sure you can see it good. I know this lighting in here sucks. I'm sorry. This lighting in here sucks. I know. Look how beautiful that is. I'm looking at the mug. Now I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the mug. Now I'm looking at you. Beautiful. Again, all white in the inside. And this should be um, Norfolk. Royal Norfolk. Yeah. It's just Dollar Tree brand. Royal Norfolk. It sounds funny when I say it. But look how cute they are. Girl, look. Sweaters. Sweaters. I love these. I've always wanted to get one, but I didn't want to pay the $10 to $15 for it. I just didn't. Dollar Tree hooked me up this year. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Thank you, Dollar Tree. I know these make me so happy because we have coffee every morning upstairs, and I'll be using them upstairs. Okay. They're like, next. Next. 
We're going. We're going. We're moving on. Now, in the um, beauty department, I found these. Now, who doesn't love Salt Range? Salt Range nose inhalers, you know, the peppermint nose inhalers. If you see them, grab one or two for the holidays. Um, your nose is going to is going to thank you for it. It really helps with trying to clear your nasal passages, okay? Naturally. Now, they came out with the lip balms, okay? They got the rose and a two-pack. This is not Dollar Tree brand, okay? It is not. And um, I'm trying to read the back because uh, it's involved in a whole bunch of stuff here as far as um, it's like a foundation, okay? Promotes a pollution-free environment. So there you go. So they have it in the rose. All right. And it says soothing, hydrating, rich mix of vital nutrients. Okay. I can tell you this stuff is good. Then for the first time, I saw it in kiwi. So they have it in a kiwi, you guys. I've never seen it in a kiwi. I was so excited. I was like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, look, look, picture time, click. There you go. So try out this kiwi, honey. Try it and let me know if you like it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be busting up into this pretty soon. Cause right now, what I'm rocking in here are these two and I really like them. If you see them, get you some. Remember when I shared these in, my, in one of my last two hauls, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse ones? And they're like um, peppermint and one is like iced coffee. Oh my gosh. And the cute little pom-poms are super soft. These feel so good on the lips. If you see them, buy them. You're not going to be unhappy. You're going to be very happy with that. I always have two or three lip balms in my purse as well. So I'm a lip balm girl. Okay. Oh yeah. Be on the lookout. Perfect time to get it. You know them lips going to be dry, honey. Now in the book department... I found a couple of books. So the first one is a dip spreads recipes for easy and elegant entertaining. And um, this is a Greenbrier book, I think, but then it says Dream Tivity, published by Dream Tivity. But it's one of those thinner, little thinner books. I always have a problem with trying to create dips and spreads and sauces. That's just not my jam. So if I don't have a recipe, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I like these. They're thin. They don't take up too much space. And they're very simple. And they give you a picture of how it's supposed to look. Okay. They even got green hummus. They have roasted pumpkin. Chicken spread. White bean and rosemary. Oh my gosh. I have rosemary outside. I have a huge rosemary bush. I should be able to make this pretty easy. So this just needs two cups of white beans, rinse and drain, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two garlic cloves, one tablespoon of fresh minced rosemary. I gotcha. I got a bush outside. Um, uh, let's see, celery, I'm going to admit celery, I hate celery, salt and pepper, two pinches of red pepper flakes, sesame seeds for garnish, optional, but oh my gosh, hello, I don't even know how to say that, I don't even know how to say that, okay, so basically, they even have one for beets, traditional hummus, rayata, if I said that right, creamy, crudette dip, black bean spread. I mean, they have, and it, and it goes on. Okay. So this, I was like, hello. Yes. Then I found the, um, home lettered hand lettered home. I know I can't say anything today. Let's look at the price y'all. Let's look at the price. Let me see if I can pull it up. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's a very dreary day here in the state of Maryland. Um, it's very overcast. It's rather dark, and uh, it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to be like a. It's gonna be a rainy day. It's gonna be okay. So it's twenty four ninety nine. Okay, twenty four ninety nine. Um, a lot of y'all been finding this, and I, I thought to myself, well, this looks pretty interesting. Hmm. And it says DIY wood signs for a farmhouse decor. Now I do have some signs in the back of my truck that I was going to donate that I had found at Michael's like a year before. And I found several and I gave some away, but I had like four or five of them left and they're really big and they're like wood. And I was like, I wonder if I can remake them so I can keep them and not donate them and remake them because I was just going to donate them. They're in the back of my truck. So I was hoping that this might give me some inspiration so I can repurpose and recycle what I have. So we'll see. If not, this will become a, my new junk journal. Yeah, this will become a new junk journal. Then I found Eliza starts a rumor. Eliza starts a rumor. Women, they're always doing stuff. Okay, let's see how much she costs. $26. This was 26 blanks. That's a lot of money for a book. So let me read you just a little bit. This is also the author of Nine Women. Okay. So it says, it wasn't supposed to happen this way. When Eliza Hunt created the Hudson Valley Ladies Bulletin Board 15 years ago, she was happily entrenched in her picture-perfect suburban life. With her husband and twin preschoolers, now with an empty nest and a crippling case of agoraphobia, the once fun hobby has become her lifetime. So when a rival parenting form threatens the site's existence, she doesn't think twice before fabricating a salacious rumor to spark things up a bit. It doesn't take long before the spark becomes a flame. And then it continues on. So, so a woman just starting stuff. Because she's like, no, no, you're not going to take down my site. No. So this, okay. It should be interesting. It should be interesting. And then this one was just kind of funny. The Hungover Cookbook. Yes, you read that right. The Hungover Cookbook. I know, my makeup light. I didn't seal it how much is this i don't know let's see i'm gonna have to move this now it says everything you need to know to assess understand and improve a hangover is in here dozens of comforting recipes for very clever graphic tests and analyzing your state of mind which is kind of funny so this is 10 bucks and when i opened it up i thought it was i just first of all don't panic. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just kind of funny. And then it has the visual, the, t the different tests to test how messed up you are. Then it has questionnaires. And then here, the classic bacon sandwich. Things to help you. The classic bacon sandwich. We have ice cream smoothie. We have a croissant Nutella and hot chocolate. Okay, so they're boiled eggs with potato farl fingers what is a farl farl finger it says it in there farl what is that what is a f-a-r-l finger somebody tell me i know one of y'all smart people out there know lemon and damara sugar pancakes never heard of it so i was looking at the recipes and i was like this sounds kind of interesting this sounds kind of interesting i definitely have to take it home but that is everything for this haul so i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you come back because I will be sharing more of the mail that has come in the entries. I have a lot of mail I have to go through and uh, present to you guys, as well as some other goodies. I do have my Allure Beauty Box. I have something from Ulta Head in my way. That's a new perfume that just came out recently. Got my hands on a honey because I was like, ooh, I need this for my collection. 
and um you know check out some of my other videos and prepping videos if you guys are a little you know are a little uh, i don't like i don't like what i'm seeing and you're starting to get into that whole prepper mode and just securing your home with the things you need to tighten up your reserves and um, get your home back into the right direction for, you know, inflation and what have you. I do have a playlist for that. Go to my main page, hit playlist. You will see my prepper playlist along with um, Dollhouse Miniatures, DIYs, Timu, Shop Miss A, music that I listen to, um, things like that. Okay, so go check it out and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.